Hear me, Tony Affinelli, the ones in future king. Thank you very much. He has a golden throat. Uh, Growing up in gorgeous. Burlington, Mark Genicello seemed to be that kid who had it all. God has been very gracious to me. I've been given an enormous amount of abilities and talents, but I paid a terrible price for them. He graduated from Williams High School, then studied theater at UNC Greensboro, where he starred in productions and eventually ended up in Europe, where he had success as a performer, but was struggling to save his marriage. I had tried everything else. A friend of mine in New York was involved with Scientology. He gave me Dianetics. I read the book and I thought, okay, maybe this could work. And um, when I got famous, Scientology asked me to start speaking out for religious freedom. That didn't go over well in Europe in the 1990s. You know, they couldn't get to Tom Cruise. They couldn't get to John Travolta. They were too big. Me, they could get to. I got caught between the German CIA and the Scientology organization. When things got difficult, Scientology basically left me to die. Which is exactly what happened to his career. Mark suddenly couldn't find work anywhere. I nearly killed myself three times. I couldn't pay my bills. I couldn't pay my child support. I went from being a very well-known personality, making a lot of money, uh, when the Scientology problems hit, I lost everything. And of course, the greatest way to get revenge is to write a comedy. <laughs> I don't know if that's the greatest way. It was the way I did it. Mark wrote a musical comedy loosely based on his autobiography, Naked in the Spotlight. The movie is called The Finellis. He's the reason you went to prison. How can you be so stupid? Ow, don't call him stupid. That's my job. An American singer who's quite famous in Europe ends up going to prison for 15 years. Otherwise, the mafia will kill his family. Being married to you was like a three-ring circus. Engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. You're Russian. You should be used to it. Hey. In order to win back his family and try to get his ex-wife back, he works as the janitor in his own house. Uh, to spend time with the family while he's rebuilding his career. So, Mr. Big Shot has been. How are you going to make money now? Oh, Mama, Daddy's a great singer. He should sing. Yes, know? Tony should definitely sing. What? Jailhouse rock? Yeah, it's a little bit like Goodfellas meets Mrs. Doubtfire meets Glee. And it's winning awards around the world. The hope is to turn it into a full 13-episode series soon, which brings Mark Genicello's life full circle. When I was a young man, I was kind of a jerk, and I was an arrogant, uh, spoiled brat, basically, and I wasn't very grateful for the extraordinary gifts I had been given and opportunities that had been afforded to me. Time has taught him that gratitude is the greatest gift of all. Money does not make you happy. Fame does not make you happy. Being true to yourself, being true to your ideals, and being grateful. Um, I, I had to learn gratitude, and I'm very happy that I did. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.